if if it's keeping if it's keeping somebody up at night that we build a building for future growth and it has an empty room in it, then I'm not sure that that there's a complete understanding of, of growth. But but I we hire a county manager to manage those affairs, and I think that if if we just say to the county manager, take a look at what we've got and report back to us. Whatever he says is sufficient for me. And, uh, and that's, I mean, it doesn't have to be a lengthy process, doesn't need to require a, uh, a train, everybody gets on and goes and looks at the buildings. I just, because that, that's. That may not be a concern of yours. It is a concern of mine. I'm not losing sleep, but it, I'll be honest with you, it does deeply bother me when we sink millions of dollars into a building that we heat and cool, and we don't have more than just one office. I mean, we have office after office after office. If you so put them all together, you've yeah, got well, let's probably a third yeah. of it. Yeah. I said there'd be an argument, but you know, this yeah. is a valid issue. I think that needs I to think be there's a couple of things that need to be considered. I, we don't, I, need I don't have a bunch of turf war about that. Right? I, I don't have any anything to discuss. I don't have any, I don't have any. So I am mad, I'm just I about to say, listen, you know, why wouldn't we want to do something like that? I don't have a problem with looking at facilities to make sure that the facilities are being used uh, to their fullest benefit. Keep in mind, this facility here was built to replace a facility that was old, antiquated, crowded, that served for several years. This facility here was built and constructed, hopefully, to serve this county for the next 40, 50 years. And, I'm aware and all of that growth. Now, there's some things and I'll be the first one to say, and I know we discussed it, there's some things that you have to look at at how a facility is utilized and what that mix of use can and cannot be. You've got to be extremely careful about that. Some of the things that's been floated around that you could put in into this building absolutely has no place here. Absolutely. Um, so I think that... Uh, Again, to go back to what Mr. Raines had said, uh, that's what we have part of his duties, Mr. Pritchard's duty. Let him look at the facility, let them do an assessment on it, and to give us an update on whether or not uh, how they're being done, what the spaces are available, and why those spaces are available, and what the future plans are for those spaces. Maybe that would be a fair enough question. I know that. we have differences of opinions and we're going to have I mean, you may feel like there's things that don't belong here i may feel like the things you know not any reason why we would want it. but and i'm going to use this as an illustration and throw it out there it's a matter of public knowledge when we pay sixty-three thousand dollars a year in rent to the bank of america for the public defender's office when we've got a lot of it's space in county buildings, not just this one. I know we got a courthouse, we're going to do a renovation, and you know, we still don't know what may go in there. That does bother me. It may not bother y'all, but it bothers me. We all think differently. I don't lay awake at night, but I know it's taxpayers' money that is being utilized. And I think it will behoove us to do an in depth study of, of all these spaces that we own. Okay. To see if we can better you buy anything good. And if now, if I'm ignorant, and there has been a space study done before I came on, I mean, I'd like to see it, and that may answer a lot of my questions. The I way that the, the uh, space was determined for this was based on uh, space needs analysis that was conducted prior to the design. But since the building's been built, you said there hasn't been any kind of assessment every, of The architect went to every potential office and asked for their needs. One of the ideas at the time that this building was built was, A, we anticipated having Parks and Rec as a county department. B, we anticipated the fire department's administrative staff being located here rather than where they are. We changed that. That's, those were factors that were considered at the time that the architects 
designers, but um, Ken Rickett and his staff did an assessment uh, needs analysis uh, before there was ever any uh, design made. And see, that's good knowledge to have. And if the building is built, that understanding, but we wind up putting fire department somewhere else, park correct, so we don't forest street, then that space that could have been for them can someone else use it and it be you know, a more uh, efficient use of the building you got. And I know that George just mentioned told me here you know, we've got a reduction in staff too since this building's been built. So that creates some, some space. All I'm all I'm saying is if there's a way we can utilize our space and get some return on the buildings that we do have, I think it's worthwhile to do. Any other comments? What? Mr. Powell? 